Part two of the title matches from Spare Time Lanes in Kennewick. One versus two in both divisions. That's uh, two seed Nick Bruchetta taking on top seed Collins Davis in your left in handicap. And top seed Tristan Curtis taking on Bryson Parker in scratch. Curtis trails by 10 with an open working and that time finally finds the one three. And motions over to that left lane saying, you are mine left lane. He's gone open open so far on it. What? Even Evan gave me a weird look on that one. So far in this left lane, he missed the 2-8, and then he uh, went over Justin and left a 3-9-10. He needs to find that happy medium to tie up the match here in the sixth. Hmm. Pretty good shot there, especially after what he left the last two times. He'll take pocket right now if he can control it. Doesn't look like it's going to take much to win this game. 190 is probably plenty the way they're going. However, lots of game left. And Bruchetta gets a great break over there, going right into the old 1-1 one -one pocket, and they all fell somehow. A little squasher action for Bruchetta. Neat place out here in Kennewick. Come out and check it out sometimes. Our first visit here. Alan and Mary and the staff made us feel very welcome. Thank you very much, guys, for having us. First of many, we hope. Nice job with the 10 pin, and he'll continue to trail by 10 through 6. Collins answers Bruchetta's good break with one of his own there to get a double. Thank you very much. All right. Again, uh, if you didn't watch the first half, Collins is the top seed and he's getting 15 pins, so Nick's got to beat him by 15 to tie and 16 wins. Look how much Parker has moved in front of the ball return. That's a good six boards further left. It's a good further arrow left at the laydown. Ah. He didn't get rewarded with the brave move there. Maybe a slight over adjustment leaving the bucket, but I like the uh, willingness to make that big move right there. I think there's, even though it's a difficult throw, there's a lot of positives to take out of that. He knows now that he can just back off that just a pinch, and he should have plenty of push the rest of the way. Tough spare to shoot at, though, here. All right, that's a nice job. There's about 30 ways to chop that and only a couple to make it. But fortunately, he found the one that did make it and he maintains that 10 pin lead there. Didn't lose any count either. So double bonus for him there. Brave move there on the right hand lane. We'll see what he does here on the left lane now. Struck last time. It was a high strike, sort of high plus strike. And he's bumping it a little bit left as well. Watch that left foot start first, just skids it, one and then two very big steps to the foul line. Same thing Tristan had on the left lane in his frame there, just a little half ten. Might be he who doubles first might win this match at this point. Looks easier said than done. There were some high games today, Tristan had the best out of everybody, a 290 effort in game seven. He didn't grab the lead with that 290, but he did grab the lead with the 193 uh, game eight effort. What'd you leave in the 290? Uh, wrap 10 first. Wrap shot. 10 on the, well, we figured it was the first shot. Oh, and there is the break that Curtis was looking for as he flags the 10 pin and gives Tristan the lead on the bench. My goodness. Bruchetta cleans up the 3-6-10 over there. That's his second mark in four frames, and Davis is clean with the double, so Nick's got a lot of work to do in his second half. Big, big opportunity for Tristan here. He's looking better on lane six than on five. That little test swing to get the tension out of his arms. Perfect. That's the way champions scroll. They uh, jump on other bowlers' mistakes. He jumped all over that one. Ooh, sorry, Nick. <laughs> I had a bowler eager to get through behind me there. <laughs> oh, what the heck was going on there? The charging Bruchetta. Look at this guy. He's got rosin all over his shirt. He's pushing his hair out of his head. It's a player. Going for it. Begging for that ball to hold. It didn't. Huge shot here for Tristan. Oh, got it to set up in the pocket there. That ball had to lay the last five feet. Tristan begged for it to do so. It did so. 
and consolidates the Parker error with a double of his own to jump out to an 18 pin advantage. Oh, what a break for Bruchetta getting the six off the backboard. Way wider. And all that power brings it back, but didn't get the 10. Well, spare sheet for Bryson is 193, which is still plenty of game here. Tristan only going at a 184 pace. First things first, make up this pin that he's missed last frame. How often does that happen in bowling? You leave the spare you missed right after it. That time he's got it. Good spare, should be a tight finisher. Watch third part, see it all play out.